Today I received a new improved model of uh, Ishin E58 drone which I've been testing for a long time up to now uh, now I'm getting this one and I'm excited to see the difference because uh, the Ishin E58 is known for calibration problems and this model has GPS in it and my guess is that it should be different, it should be able to calibrate itself because now the drone will know its position so we see this drone has GPS incorporated so the one key return button uh, should be working now because in uh, Ishin E58 as you know this return button that is described in the instructions although it is saying it's a return button it does not work and I guess just the instructions are generic for all models that's why this description was there but if there is no GPS there can't be any return button so it also has headless mode it has altitude hold not sure what it means for now but normally e 58 would also hold the altitude well and I hope this has a better camera because um, the e 58 doesn't have a good camera for if you want to film something uh, I mean you should be flying the drone very smoothly to be able to have a good picture and it says it has speed control well E58 also has speed control it has three speeds one of the other functions that this drone has is the follow me function uh, the algorithm in the drone allows uh, it to follow a person so that's an inter interesting feature that I would like to test too and see how it works between trees and where there are obstacles etc also you can see that it can come with different options with 720 pixels camera 1080 pixels camera 4k uh, it also has different Wi-Fi modes 5g and uh, I chose to to get a 5g Wi-Fi standard because now it should be faster in E58 as you remember from my tests when you would connect the camera to the phone the picture would sometimes interrupt because the Wi-Fi signal was not fast enough in this model I hope that the signal will be fast enough so that you get a smooth picture all the time on your phone which is important when you fly or when you record to your phone you don't want any interruptions so I got the medium uh, option is 5G 1080 pixels because I'm not going to film in 4K it takes a lot of time to process and uh, most screens don't need that much of resolution now I got the drone out of the box and it looks like this drone is huge look at the E58 it's small when I was buying this one I thought it would be of the same size actually but just the functions will be different but it's bigger now let's look at the propellers and we have the third battery inside so we got three batteries in one pack look at this it's so different from the E58 model but the price is not that different now you know actually when you get discounts you can get it at a really nice price and the difference of the price between this and this one is not very big so once you learn to fly the drone I think this could be the thing you should go for let's see I'm telling you that I haven't tried it yet I just wanna share this experience and see how I will be adapting to this new model so you can see the propellers are huge the arms are huge the body is huge it has two antennas while this one had only one and uh, probably has some fancy LED lights here the batteries are huge in comparison to the E58 ones look at this it has 1200 mAh per hour battery look at the difference E58 battery E520 battery huge one now I can see also that the design on the remote control is much more intuitive now you have buttons that are intuitive you understand better what they mean and for example look at this 
on the E58 the buttons are not marked at all but here you understand what those buttons are about in my next videos you'll see a lot of testing of this new model but at the same time I'm not finished with the E58 still a lot of things to do with this too